Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we're at the cottage. Yes, we are. Here we are by the lake. Um, but don't worry guys, we watched plenty of movies beforehand to get us through <laughs> our vacation. So one movie we watched, and boy, I can't wait till Sean tells you what it's about, is called Double World. Oh, Double World. Double World. <laughs> I mean, it is called Double World, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. So Double World. Uh, do we have a confirmation on that title, Sean? We confirmed. <laughs> okay. Double World. Double World. Well, why don't you tell us what it was about? So, it's in China, mm -hmm. and there's these two kingdoms mm -hmm. that are fighting, mm -hmm. and then there is a tournament that has teams of three from all of these eight clans, mm -hmm. and they have to fight because the next, the winner is going to be the next Grand Marshal of the kingdom. Oh boy. So that's uh, how we start. Okay. So who are our three teammates? Well at first we only have two. We have the <laughs> bastard and the deserter. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> so these are two, for whatever reason in this one clan, mm -hmm. no like leaders of the community actually want to go. It's only these two people. One of them is like strung up by his feet. Yeah, he's and a thief. The other is a guy that no one seems to like. No one like. likes. Well, nobody likes either. Yeah. Them, to be fair. Now, the bastard. You know, that's a, a a terrible term for anyone. But his mother died in childbirth without naming his father. Only left him a broken comb. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, it's gonna come up. So feel free to write that one down. The deserter is like the sole survivor from a past war. Yeah. Because there's been a decade of peace. So I guess a decade ago, he came back and nobody else did. And so they figured he ran away like a coward. Yeah, which and is And he's a got a broken staff. Yes. And so they're the only two volunteers. <laughs> yep. So you can't really judge them because, you know. No. They were willing. They're doing Willing and able. They stepped up. And off they go, and immediately there's like just a perilous desert to yeah. go through. Like even getting to the place where they're gonna die is very it's deathly. Very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> but during like a sandstorm, I yep. wanna say, something like that. Absolutely. They meet a young woman. Yep. And um, post sandstorm, I guess, when the survivors <laughs> dig themselves back up they uh, sort of form an alliance of sorts with her. Reluctantly. Yeah, they're not happy about it. They're not happy about but it. But they need a third. But they do need a third. <laughs> it's weird they even... Oh no, they did set out with three and they, lo they lost the third. Oh right, they did have they a third guy a third, who died very soon But after. yeah, he didn't even make it to the <laughs> sandstorm, guys. <laughs> so who was this guy? Fudgy enough! So who was this guy, really? Not important. That's no. who he was. No, he had no backstory. No, He's that's how we knew. <laughs> that is exactly how we knew he was not going to make it to the end. We didn't know he wasn't going to make it to the beginning, <laughs> but that's how it works out sometimes. So, um, perhaps in light of Mulan being indefinitely postponed, this might serve as somewhat a placeholder. It might. Um, there's a comb. Yeah. Yeah. There's horses. There's horses. And there's a lot of battles. Now, I suspect, like, I know Mulan, the live action remake, is going to be a little more adult than Mulan, the cartoon, and is going to focus more on the warrior aspect. I suspect not as heavily as this one does, not as bloodily as this Definitely one does. Definitely not as bloodily. Not as sanguinous. Yes. <laughs> as this one will. Um, the action is pretty much nonstop. Yep. There's kind of actually some wonderful choreography there. Yes. Didn't you think? Yeah, the action scenes are quite good. Yeah, and there's just a lot of fighting because obviously they're pitting clans against each other, north and south against each other, teams of three against each other, and then the teams against various beasts and king of beasts. That's right, yes. <sighs> Boy. They really cover uh, a lot of ground, they too. They do. They really do. And yeah, there's just not a lot of time between action. Like... <laughs> My gosh, it is non-stop, and it's kind of great. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't make sense all of the time. Or most of the time. Yeah, but that's but okay. That's details, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Bay's made a career out of that. True, and I think this was probably better than Michael Bay. 
It is kind of, it does have a legendary quality to it. Yeah, well that's the thing, there's not a lot of exploding buses, so no. <laughs> <laughs> it is an ancient, well not really China, pre-China even, but yeah. anyways. It was kind of enjoyable, it's not the greatest thing, but in terms of what's new on Netflix, Double World sure is, and even <laughs> though it's one that you have to read the subtitles, believe me, you could you just can, give up yes. reading, just watch, just watch the, the fancy fights. action, yeah. You don't need to know anything else that's going on, <laughs> and they'll really hit you over the head with it anyway. Anyways, that's right. <laughs> so it's good fun that way. Right. Right. So, a, a tepid recommendation. It's not going to be for everyone, but if you're hungry for if some action... If you like some kung fu action, oh, yeah. you're going to enjoy this movie. Yeah. It does have good fight scenes. That's right. <laughs> okay, well, bye from the cottage, everyone, and thanks for watching.